Hey, what's up you guys? Chardonnay Prime here, doing a different kind of video. Uh, I'm just parked down the street from work over here in San Francisco, and I wanted to do this video quite some time ago, and I meant to post up a second review up today, and it just didn't happen, and I feel like I owe it to you guys to post up a second video, because the snapshot video, I didn't want it to be the only video. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while anyway, and stay tuned towards the end, because there's going to be an unboxing video from the car as well, all related to Captain Marvel. This is all spoiler talk. If you haven't seen the movie yet, you may not want to watch this video or come back and watch this video afterwards. Uh, but I'm going to talk about four things that really upset me about this Captain Marvel movie. And I got to start first off, I think the worst part of the movie, I think we could all agree on, was the just a girl scene. Uh, Charlita One was right there with me on that. I know it's supposed to be a girl power scene, and, and that's that's what she was saying too. Was like, I, you know, I feel the whole girl power thing, but that was still uh, just a little much, and it was cringy. And everybody who I talk to uh, just doesn't like that part of the movie. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you thought that was a great thing to have in the movie. I, I thought just a girl was just way too obvious, and it was just cringy. Uh, any other song? I guess maybe or just the placement of that song with the scene or maybe the way the scene went down maybe if it was like just a girl and they had some kind of scene where she was a a, a pilot you know flying her plane and beating somebody you know in, in a dog fight you know maybe something like that or someone was telling her like oh you're not a girl or you're not a real pilot because you're a girl you know only guys can be good dog fighter pilots and then she ends up you know proving herself and they have that song i probably would have cringed during that too i think that song is just so blatantly obvious that it just wouldn't have worked so yeah number one uh <laughs> is the just a girl scene um i actually just thought of a fifth thing that i didn't really like that much about the movie but it didn't bother me as much so i'm not putting it on the list and that's the whole uh the carol avenger danvers thing you know at first i got what people were saying uh, about oh she's beating cap as the first avenger but no she's not she was not the first avenger she is not the first avenger just because she called herself avenger and fury took that name or somebody else called her avenger doesn't mean that she's the first avenger there's all kinds of other people that called themselves avengers at some point or another before the actual avengers were formed so yeah that that's not on the list it doesn't bother me as much um the number two thing is, uh, I'm going to say, uh, no Ronin and uh, no weaknesses. Yeah, that really bothered me a lot, man. She should have had some weaknesses and most definitely should have fought Ronin. I mean, we've seen Ronin before and he lost to a dance-off and I feel like we could have seen a lot more Ronin, especially with him not having the Power Stone. It would have been really cool to see uh, what kind of uh, might behind Ronin and his hammer and everything there was without the power stone involved and that there, there's a lot of potential there that they'd not tap into and they definitely could have shown some weaknesses there with the Captain Marvel character having her go up against a formidable foe like Ronin that would have been great or a Kree sentry could you imagine if she was fighting a Kree sentry I mean that would have been awesome to see her see that go down so no that we didn't get to see any of that she never really had anybody to go up against to match her power level and that was very frustrating and because of that when we see the end game bits it's kind of like okay well she's just kind of like i don't know i feel like she just got like a pass up to the top without really letting the viewers see her get to that level that's what makes thor so awesome is that we saw his arc we saw him really earn that place especially over the years of the mcu and him kind of like you know already being strong but seeing things really go to that next level with infinity war um the uh the number the the number two thing that uh or the number three thing i'm putting here is um is the no is the death of marvell and the way marvell died it would have been so easy to make carol danvers make that sacrifice play and jump in front of that blast and defend captain mar or Marvel. Now, I didn't have a big problem with Marvel being a woman instead of a guy. That's okay. But the key component of that character in relation to Carol Danvers is that she gets her powers defending him, protecting him. And it could have been her protecting the female Marvel. And that would have been awesome. But instead, it's like, oh, she just shoots at the thing. And then, okay, now she has all those powers. That was 
poorly done. I just thought such a poor decision and it really frustrated me. Uh, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about is Nick Fury's eye. Uh, you know, okay, yeah, Goose is an alien. So not the absolute worst thing it's not like goose is just a cat it is an alien but the whole line of you know last time i trusted someone i lost an eye i mean we all took that seriously in the winter soldier movie it would have been great to have seen that you know been taken seriously in this movie and the biggest problem with that for me is is that you had an opportunity with yon rog to take out the eye right yon rog was an ally right wasn't he an ally he could have been an ally that betrayed Nick Fury and that's how he lost his eye. It would have been awesome if that's how it went down. It, I mean, yon -Rog was there ready for that anyway, so they could have easily have gone that route and yeah, that's very, very frustrating. So yeah, that's what bums me out about this movie. I give it a seven out of 10. It's been seven and eights across the board for the most part. My cousin gave it a six and he usually just likes Marvel movies a bit less than than I do. I mean, comics wise, he's definitely more of a DC guy. So he just, you know, he just prefers the DC comics more so. Uh, but yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, stick around. Uh, we're going to have an unboxing for a figure that I forgot that I had ordered. So hey, stay hey, tuned. If you want to work, I only work at Guitar Center one day a week now. So just to be clear. But yeah, I have no idea what this is. There's a couple of packages that I was expecting to have arrive at my place and this and those two had showed up and i was surprised to see this one so i just picked this up and i have no idea what it is uh, it says that it came from the uk so uh i'm gonna go ahead and open it with my keys right here yeah just doing this right here in the car uh, outside the post office right before work yeah so quality content right here but that's just due to stuff being stressful at home with you know waking up in the middle of the night just about every day and what is this let's see here all right star wars hey star wars okay i'm seeing uh this is from uh star action figures thank you for purchasing from star action figures oh i know what this is now i know what it is yes okay and yeah binary captain marvel all right cool doesn't look too bad sweet not looking too bad this is the walmart exclusive i believe all right binary form captain marvel all right so yeah expect a review of this figure coming shortly um, I think it was Adam who hooked me up with the info on this website right here. So I, if I if I can remember correctly, shoot. But yeah, I think it was Adam. And uh, thank you so much, man. But yeah, sweet. I'm stoked to have this. Can't wait to open it once I get home, but I have to go to work first. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.